A McAllen school parent questioning the tactics used by campus police. His eighth grade son was falsely accused in a toy gun incident. Yeah, officers handcuffed and questioned him, leaving bruises on his wrist and his father wanting answers. These are the marks left behind days after a 14-year-old is detained by McAllen ISD police. Just by the results of seeing uh, the little scars on my son's wrist, I go, I mean, it was too much. It's also the direct result, Andy Zavala says, of his son being falsely accused. He did ask the officer uh, en route, uh, where am I going, what's going on, and uh, they didn't tell him anything. They just stayed quiet, so he just... He was scared. He didn't know what was going on. It turns out the eighth grader at Lincoln Middle School has been linked to a toy gun incident where kids are seen shooting windows at Seguin Elementary School. But a teacher who witnessed the alleged incident improperly identifies Andy's son, who's nowhere near the school at the time, as a suspect and as a result is later cleared. His father thinks the school should have notified him immediately in regards to the case, not after he's been cuffed and questioned. Why weren't we called? for the interview. Like all law enforcement agencies in the state of Texas, the McAllen ISD PD follows the Texas Family Code. That means parents are contacted if an arrest is made. But in this case, the district says there was not. A district spokesperson says campus police acted in good faith. The red marks are blamed on the student who continued to move his wrists while they were handcuffed. Andy hopes this incident will lead to better treatment of students. Because we, we're depending on you and trust the, the PD that, to make sure that everything is going right. And we're just here, the kids are there to learn. And improve lines of communication with school parents. Action 4 News has learned that one student will face charges in connection to the toy gun incident last Thursday. A handful of others will be subject to school discipline. The investigation is ongoing tonight. I post preview pics to my stories on Facebook and Twitter. I'd love to get your thoughts on tonight's report. To find me online right now, just search Ryan Wolf.